fix that I'm going to do is going to fix the issue that if you want to remove this wireless module, uh, you can't. I mean, it's uh, hardwired into this antenna, which is nice and all. You have an antenna sticking at the top, but uh, I'd really like to be able to remove this this wireless module, and uh, mostly because of the risk of of uh, pinching this coax cable. Now this coax is pretty sensitive to uh, getting pinched when it's uh, this small. Any little uh, kink can uh, break the interconductor and cause some problems. So, first thing you're going to want to do is open up the radiator, or open up the wireless module. Alright, that just requires removing a couple screws. Alright, so now we're looking in here. Now you can see the coax connects here. Now it's two connections. The very inner connection is connected to the signal and the outer connection is connected to ground. So what we're going to want to do is take a soldering iron, a nice clean tip. Alright. And we're going to want to desolder it. Now it should be enough. Just to... Touch it. Let's see if we can pull this through a little bit. Give us a little more working space. All right. Now if we just touch this. Should come up. Uh, unfortunately kind of mangled the end of the coax spread the outer conductor out a little bit, we could probably still work with it I think I may try to make a new connection All right. but once you have that unsoldered, what you can do you should be able to do come on you is pull this wire through, alright now to remove the antenna there's just a single screw right here Remove this. Right, pull this out. Now you can see. And gently pull this cable out. Nice and easy. Help it a little bit. And hooray! We've uh, liberated our cable. All right. All right. So now to create a new end on this coax, I'm just going to use these uh, Peloton wire strippers. Now you can get specific coax strippers, but uh, for coax this thin, they're hard to find. So I'm just going to cut off a little bit, like that. So what you have to do is, you, there are four parts to this coax. There's an outer insulator, inner, or outer conductor, inner insulator, inner conductor. And you need to create steps so that you have each one of those exposed um, in order. So first thing we want to do is we want to take off the outside layer that is uh, just the outer insulator. Yeah, I can see we have the outer conductor showing. Alright, so now what I'm going to do is I'm just going to take a pair of flush cuts and trim the outer conductor a little bit. Alright. Alright. Now what we're, we have to solder this to ground. But the next thing I'm going to do is uh, expose a bit of the uh, the inner conductor. Alright, let's see about that. Alright, that looks pretty good. Probably way too small to see. Uh, camera can't even zoom in that fast, or that near. Alright. So, now to drill a hole in this part. So, the next step is to take a back plate. And drill a small hole in it. I'm just going to do one big enough for the cracks to go through. Alright, we're through. I can double check. Yep, coax fits right through. Alright. Now for the tricky part. 
Let me see if I can use a little tool here. Give me a third hand. All right, so now what I'm going to do, I'm going to pre tin everything as well as clean up the, uh, the solder that's already on there. All right. I probably can't see that, but uh, there's a nice clean solder coating on the outside of that conductor. All right, let's see if we can get a better view now. So what I'm going to do, hold this module in place with my third hand tool, keep it from moving while I'm trying to solder, oh I haven't cleaned it up yet, take a little solder wick, clean up the connection. pre-tin this ground pad. This kind of preheats up everything just to make sure you have a good connection. Alright. Now this is the tricky part. I try not to burn myself. This one takes a little bit more soldering skill than some of the other fixes. It's something like a microscope or something like that would uh, probably help. Oh no. Now, this module in there is just floating so I'm going to do something to try to prop it up so that it stays in place. Let's see what can I use. I'm going to go ahead and support up this bottom PCB with a little bit of hot glue. So it makes it easier for me to solder to it. Let's see if this is going to work. Alright. So what I'm going to do is I'm first going to tack down the signal line to the center. That in place, and then hold down the coax, solder it. All right, now that I have it soldered together, I'm going to tack down the coax just to alleviate any stresses on it, and hopefully, if there's a problem, it can be removed later. That should be all that we need to do as far as soldering should be concerned. Let's uh, see if it still works. And look at that, no fiddling with the coax. I try to get it going fit nicely. Still a tight fit, but uh, a lot better. Alright, before we do anything else, I'm going to go ahead and check it. like a champ. Alright. Now for the finishing touches. Alright. Last thing that I'm going to do 
I'm gonna shove this wire in here. Let's see. Make it. Let's make sure not to kink it. All right, so that's gonna be nice. Just like there. You can see I just have a the coax in there all coiled up. Alright. I take my uh, handy dandy hot glue gun. And just apply uh, a little bit of hot glue to keep this thing down. Alright, and if uh, I need to with the hot glue, you can always remove it later and uh, put a nicer connector on there. But uh, let's let that uh, sit up a little bit. Alright, so that wasn't too bad. I just got to put the screws in. Let's see, where are those screws? Here they are. Now, if you if you remember, at no point did I even have to open up the main radio.